We're gonna be headed to the first car show for the Corolla, as well as the first car show for the turbo truck. So my good buddy, Jacob, is gonna be coming over. He's gonna be driving the turbo truck because it's just good to go. No issues, I super trust that thing. And I'm gonna be taking the Corolla. That way, if anything happens, it's on me, not on him. So before we head to a car show, we've got a couple things we need to take care of. Last night, I kind of stupidly spent an hour in the rain putting this front bumper on. The Corolla is kind of an absolute mess. There's a bunch of stuff everywhere. There's some tools in here and there's some parts in here. And I wanna remove all of that and even get it vacuumed out real quick because I feel like that's gonna just look a ton better and make me feel a ton better driving it over. And while I've got the vacuum out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give the turbo truck a quick little vacuum. That way it's just looking its best for the car show. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start removing all of the random stuff from in here get it figured out, get it sorted out. Uh, I installed a brand new battery and a brand new air filter in this thing because I needed to make sure that it had a battery to start. And I wasn't gonna drive it with no air filter because I'm not a maniac. And I've got a mile of really nasty, dusty dirt road that I live down that's just not ideal for a car without a filter. So I'm gonna jump into it. We've got about 15, 20 minutes before we head out. Oh, and one last thing. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install the whole glove box cover just to give this a nice little hidden feature so you're not seeing all the wiring. We've got the Corolla cleaned up. We've got it topped off with oil and coolant. We got this topped off with oil and coolant, cleaned it up. Interior's looking pretty snazzy. The Corolla finally doesn't look like a dumpster and all of the spare parts are out of it. I think we're about ready to go to this car show. Really excited to see what people say because there's a lot of old timers at this car show. And I feel like they're not gonna be super stoked with these not being original, but I feel like some of them are gonna be super stoked that they're not original as well. So we're gonna hit the road. Hopefully the Corolla does good. This is the furthest I've ever taken it. The gas station about a mile and a half away is the furthest away I've been. We're gonna go about 10 miles away. So hopefully it does good. All right, here we go. We made it. Started 
So we are just about to head out. Everybody's leaving the cars and coffee. There were like a hundred cars here. And I think the two Toyotas were a pretty big hit. I'm stoked. This thing did awesome. No issues on the drive here. And that's super impressive. So we're gonna head out. running well so I'm glad we brought a tow strap you're clear go decided it was gonna die it's a uh, dead dead so we've got the turbo truck towing the Corolla and uh, well we're in traffic so hopefully nothing bad goes on I don't have a speedometer no clue how fast we're going Ooh, turbo truck smokes just a little bit it's gas it's I right. it could be worse So we went ahead and I just swapped batteries in this thing because I left the lights on at the show because they look good. And uh, our entire issue. A dead battery. And I guess the alternator cannot quite keep up with everything. So I'll have to look into that. We're trying to diagnose why the Corolla needed towed back from the cars and coffee. And uh, I just grabbed this, it's a little 12 volt, and it reads my voltage output because I can't seem to find my voltmeter, and I just want to diagnose this now. 
and it reads 12.5. All right, and when we start it up, instead of reading 13 volts, it reads 12, which tells me that something is not right. And I don't know if, oh, There we go. I guess I might just need to go through and tighten all my alternator connections. That's what first drives are for, I guess.